Now, if a refugee at the Kakuma camp can run up to three businesses and employ four others, what is your excuse for remaining idle? Well, KTN's Masi Kandi has been at the camp ahead of the World Refugee Day and now brings us this inspiring story. It's about lunchtime at the Kakuma refugee camp. Inside this hotel kitchen, everyone gets busy. The owner, 25-year-old Achol Deng, leads by example. She's been here since 1999, one Maki Jani. Achol says she never thought she'd come this far, married off at 17, then left alone to fend for her three sons. Achol has been toughened by what life brought her way. <laughs> She named her son Uhuru, born during the Kenya general elections of 2013. That date for her was the turnaround. Her hotel is now known as Mama Uhuru Hotel, the freedom of mind and economy she never thought she would have. Sasa nikijenga hii nyumba ni kama ile ngombe anakamua leo na kesho. Eh, nakamua kila siku. Sababu leo napiga kesho na natengeneza chakula kesho kwa daya hakuna ku. For Achol Deng, it has always been a situation where one door closes, another opens. <laughs> Learning the language of the local community and employing five of them, Achol is now shaping her life. And every week she goes to the reception area to encourage and motivate new refugees. <laughs> Obstacles have been many, but resilience is what pushed her, she says, and she is not alone. In another area of the camp, a group of refugees are venturing into agribusiness. Such agricultural projects are down here to change the mindset. Tunapanda, nyanya, vitungu, pamoja na vitungu swaum. Naitua umoja ni nguvu, utengano ni udhaifu. Na tuko watu ishirini na saba ambo tuko tunaendelea hapa hivi. Unaona. Na siyo hapa hivi tu, kuna semu mbali mbali. We are able to improve the livelihoods of these, uh, uh, these refugees who have really started and have worked very hard to, uh, to improve their livelihood through Akikaja. And we've gone ahead to even uh, train these farmers to understand the need of agribusiness because we want them to do in a business way, not the normal way they have been doing. They water their farms, and as the crops thrive, it's the hope that their lives too would. And that the young ones would follow suit, sing a different tune. Back at Mama Uhuru Hotel, lunch is ready. For every meal served is a mile away from her economic troubles, a step closer to self-reliance. The world celebrates World Refugee Day here at the Kakuma Refugee Camp. It's stories like the ones of a cholding, ones of resilience and moving forward towards self-reliance that are celebrated. Masi Kandie Katien at the Kakuma Refugee Camp in Turkana County.